this is oh my god they fly anywhere so <laughs> let's do it today i have another budget keyboard to share with you guys which is the apple maker th80x this is 75 percent hot swappable mechanic keyboard with lcd screen all right so let's get it open okay we have a really cute sticker right here and he says accessories on the knees let's check them out we have some extra switches a usb cable type c and type a a switch puller and a dust cover and our keyboard and of course the menu let's check this guy out mm, very nice color combinations look at this it looks really cool and the lcd screens right here we have a knob pretty big knob as a non-aluminum keyboard this guy got a little weight so it weights two pounds and four ounces as I can tell, I have a switch right here, a USB Type-C port, and also a USB dongle back here. So this guy is pretty much three mode connections, 2.4 gig, Bluetooth, and wired. Back here, we have two adjustable levelers that offers two angles, some rubber feeties, and I don't see any screw spike here. You know what? Let's turn it on. Okay, it got some RGB going on. It seems like the RGB is facing south and the RGB can be customized too. And it says connecting. We can also customize this LCD screen too. And I have to say this keycaps feels really smooth, very soft and gentle. But what I'm concerning about is the typing sound since I type a lot. So let's hear it. Well, it's not bad. It's just, it's just a different typing sound. It feels a little hollow. To be fair, let me put on my desk mat. It feels empty in there. So I have a better idea. Let's get it open and uh, see what we can do to make it sounds more deeper and then thuggier. There we go. Okay. So I do need to take out this knob and it feels really solid, this knob. Hear it. Oops. It's very solid. It's, uh, it's aluminum. Whole piece is aluminum. And also I see that all the stabilizers are pre-looped. So that is a plus too. We only have this really, really thin film behind this whole keyboard. And also I see that we have two connectors right here, which they can add another battery to make it last longer. But this one is 4,000 meg, so it's pretty good already. But if we can add another one, you can add some weight to it and then change this film, it will sound deeper. And this plate is not carbonate or plastic. This thing is a metal, a piece of metal. And between that and the PCB, it's another film and the PE film. So three layers total for this keyboard. I think we're gonna try some method to make this keyboard sound a little bit more amazing. I know the tape mod is gonna be perfect for this keyboard or any other kind, but you guys are already tired of the tape mod. So today, instead of tape mod, I come up with something better, which is this. <laughs> this is some authentic cat hair. There's another bag. Oh my God, they fly anywhere. So I'm gonna put this cat hair under this keyboard with that very thin film, see if we can make it a little better. So. Let's do it. Hmm, that feels good. Like touching a cat. Just make sure they don't go outside the PCB. There's some more. It seems like one bag is already enough. <laughs> to push them in. 
Okay, it fits pretty good. So now let's close it. Actually, I think I need some more over this side. There we go. That's a lot of cat hair. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm having a hard time to put it back on. There we go. All right, so no cut hair leaning around. You did an amazing job. Oh my God. <laughs> you heard I thought he this? <laughs> I can see the kind air through the knob right here. <laughs> there we go. And turn it back on. Yep, the power is here. The RGB is going on. Let's see if it gets stuck here. I say it made some difference. So I'm going to leave you guys with a before and after and leave your comment below if this mod is a thumb up or is a thumb down. <laughs> well, happy typing. <laughs>